Red FM's FIFO Life. Big Al here with you now, joined by Alex from Chesswork Group. How are you, mate? I'm well, Ellen. How are you? Doing pretty good. Uh, today's tip of the week, going to be talking about managing an investment property yourself. Now, I'm going to let you just take this one, and I'm going to ask a lot of questions during it, so prepare for that. Yeah, no drama at all. No drama at all. Look... There's a there's a natural inclination, especially if you're a control freak, a bit like myself, uh, that you want to go and you know manage the property yourself. Like mm-hmm. you bought it, you you know you invested all this money, and you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to take control and I'm going to manage the property. Uh, but let's put it this way: I mean, the real question you've got to ask yourself is, have you ever woke woken up uh, in the morning and said to yourself, look? I just don't have enough work in my life. (laughs) What I need is to get a thankless job uh, that's really stressful that works out to be about thirty dollars after week, uh, thirty dollars after tax per week. You know, so it's like that's what you're essentially saving, Uh Um, because all the agents' fees and all that's all tax deductible. And the thing is, why would you want to manage it yourself if you can get someone else to do it? Okay, cool. Have you ever managed a property yourself? No, I can, I can honestly say I haven't, mm-hmm. and that's because as much as a control freak as I am, I'm also quite lazy, and <laughs> uh, and also you know I've just got better things to do with my time. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you manage a property yourself, you're on call, you know. So yeah, you really are. Yeah, if someone got a problem. They're, they're who do they ring? They ring you. Yeah, you know. So. Now, look, the counter argument obviously is, you know, everyone's heard the horror stories, you know, real estate agents or property managers that really just aren't doing their job. Mm -hmm. You know, things are going, you know, the place is being torn up and they're not doing property inspections and all the rest. Yep. At the end of the day, you really need landlord insurance there to protect you in in case that happens. But also, it's like, you know, even just if you're not getting the response that you want out of your property manager, it's like any other service, change the property manager, Mm -hmm. you know. So... You know, this is the thing where, especially if you're going to build an investment property portfolio of multiple properties, then you're going to be end up you're going to end up having a full time job managing four or five properties yourself. Yeah, you know that. I mean, and really, you could get someone else to do it, mm-hmm. and you know, uh, claim the the fees on tax. Why well, do you know you could claim the fees on tax? It seems like a no brainer now. You set like that. Yeah, and not only that. I mean. <laughs> The thing is that when you when you manage the property yourself, you actually get to know the people there. Yeah. Right? Now, this is the problem, right? Now, everyone has just got this natural inclination to be a good person. Yeah. And so when you're dealing with this person, and I've seen it so many times, people are like, oh, you know, look, they're really good tenants, you know, and it's like, okay, so how much are you charging a week rent? And they're like, oh, look, we haven't, we haven't raised the rent for the last 15 years, you know? Oh. And you're just like, well... Hang on, so it's three hundred dollars a week. Do you realise you could get five hundred dollars a week for the, the same investment yeah. on the market? I oh, know, but they're really good tenants and all. Of it. Okay, yeah. so are they that good that you would like to go to an ATM, pull out two hundred dollars a week, and hand it to them? Yeah, and no, I wouldn't do that. Well, that's what you're doing, though. Yeah, you know, that is. that's that's the net result of what you're doing, and and it's and it's easy to get sucked in. You get to know these people that you come over. They have got some culinary delight ready for you. Yeah. you know, and you there sitting down you might they might offer you a beer or you know whatever and you get to know these people and it's very very hard to actually be detached enough to go do you know what i'm actually going to raise the rent because this is a business yeah you know what that is a very very good point and if people want more tips just like that they can actually download your uh, free ebook yeah uh just get on the website it's www.chessworkgroup.com.au uh enter your details and you can get our free ebook which is pretty good well thanks for the uh, chat this morning and the tip of the week thank you alex from chesswork group the website once again chessworkgroup.com.au that brings an end to fire for life for today. See you later. Take care.